what's up YouTube Fishing Fashion Fans here on a very overcast slightly chilly Saturday morning uh, from Strand in the Western Cape uh, Strand is about 45 or so kilometers outside of Cape Town yeah I've, yeah, I've attempted to to make a vlog um, over the past two days or so and I've had a fail every single day um, the first day I could sworn I put the recorder on got to work and the recorder was off or my camera actually uh, so yeah I thought okay shit I didn't get that footage uh, then on the way home uh, on that particular day I tried again and that worked out quite well, uh, quite, quite decent footage. Uh, but then I had some troubles with my mic. Um, I moved the mic around yesterday um, in hopes of getting a better audio quality because I'm using a cell phone to record my audio, uh, not using the camera itself. And yeah, so a little bit of an upper battle. I mean, our listening thought it's going to be as easy as put a camera on the side of my head and just record, speak a whole bunch of nonsense, and there's my vlog. Uh, but yeah, I see, it's not the case. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm just somewhat of a perfectionist or battle with some OCD issues or something. Uh, but yeah, this equally wind noise in the background was just irritated me. Um, so, so today I've moved the microphone down a bit more padding on my helmet. Hopefully I sort out the echoing wind noise. We're going to have to wait to see when I get home today. Um, so if it has improved the audio quality, then I guess this will be my first vlog. One thing I have noticed is that uh, I find it sort of difficult to come up with uh, some something to talk about. Um, just as a, okay, yeah, that's also one thing I've noticed. I say I'm a lot. Uh, I guess that's probably my thinking um, process. But I try and eliminate the amount of ums given. So yeah, I just say I find it difficult to to come up with something to speak about. Over the last two days of me attempting to do vlogs, I've noticed that most of my content predominantly comes up about road rage. I, I don't know why South Africa just has an issue with taxi drivers that don't know how to ride properly. Um, I wouldn't call them soccer moms, but Mom's giving her kids. Okay, there we go. Perfect example. Idiots that don't use indicators. It literally grinds my gears the fact that people don't know how to use fucking indicators. Because of some actually not using indicators, um, I've actually came off my bike um, one morning on the way to work. Um, I was doing some lens looking, which isn't exactly legal in South Africa. Uh, I wasn't going that fast, so I mean, I was going 40 blocks per hour. And this idiot just decides, so, okay, cool, I'm turning now. And he literally put on the indicator as he was turning. Okay, indicator will turn signal, I'll go from where you're viewing. And yeah, I stepped right into the back of his vehicle. And he still has the audacity to get out. And ask me, do I know the fuck I'm riding? I mean, honestly, dude, you know. And then I, I told him, I said, look here, you know, you have got an indicator, and I'm not denying the fact that you did put on the indicator. I totally agree, you did. But you put it on like literally as you're turning. What fucking use is that? Yeah, so, I don't know, it's in the past, um, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunately, I wasn't riding uh, my bike, uh, I was riding my dad's bike, 
I had a little bit of damage to sort out, uh, mainly just a uh, bugger up fairing. Uh, I'll see, maybe I'll add one or two pictures of the, of the bike after the accident. Yeah, I was just going to have a look at that. Yeah, so I'm currently riding my 1998 Suzuki RF400. Uh, this is my first bike which I purchased. Um, purchased it about two years ago when I got my motorcycle license. I, um, yeah, so still a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see, I've got some things over here that need to be sorted out. Um, got a couple of scratch marks on it. So yeah, so it's definitely rough, but I mean, I absolutely love it to bits. I'll probably do a separate video of how I got into biking. Uh, it's from my history around bikes and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'll plan for the near future. Um, yeah, think about it now. On the channel, I tend to want to do my daily commute through to work. Um, then over weekends, if I go through to my mate's place or something like that. And also, I do tend to go to a couple of the rally and day jaws, as us South Africans call it. Um, day jaws is you just a um, bike event uh, over a span over one day. Um, rallies are predominantly from the Friday to the Sunday. So yeah, that's what I plan on uploading. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do one to other random vlogs. Um, yeah, so I really don't have any direction for the channel yet. Uh, but hopefully I'll sort it out soon as we go along. Yeah, so my plans for today, I'm going to be running a couple of errands. Uh, then a little bit later on, uh, I'm going to be going through to, through to Cape Town. I don't know if I will be able to do a lot of footage then uh, because obviously being on the freeway or the highway uh, there's a lot of wind noise and that sort of thing so I don't particularly know if uh, I'll be able to vlog but you know I'll give it a go, check the footage when I get home and take it from there uh, the reason why I'm going through to Cape Town is because uh, instead of using a GoPro, which I actually would have preferred, I don't know if I would have preferred it, because I'm using the Garmin Verb Elite, and it has pretty much the exact same specs as the GoPro Hero Black Edition. So according to specs, I'm not really losing or gaining anything. And uh, the point where I think I am I don't know, losing is the fact that the Verb is actually a fairly new camera on the market. Uh, so it doesn't have much after sales support as the GoPro and also obviously not as much accessories. Uh, if you go into any store, uh, okay, this is obviously in, in South Africa, uh, if you go into any store, you'd find GoPro accessories, GoPro mounds go for this go for that where the verb i've actually never seen it i actually bought my verb online uh, it was had a special and i did a lot of searches on the intel web and I found a supplier of actually Garmin, Garmin GPS units and actually supply the web camera as well. So I'm going to take a old stroll down there, um, check what accessories I can get for the camera. Uh, with me using an external recorder, I want to look at maybe 
it's even a method using the actual camera to record my audio. Um, just need to set up things with cabling and that sort of thing. I'll possibly also get another mounting cable, maybe one or two mounting, mounting pads. Oh, just take it from there. One thing I'm noticing is that on this overcast the Saturday morning, uh, there's a little bit of drizzle. Uh, I don't know if you picked it up earlier. I doubt that you would have. A little bit of drizzle. So yeah, I hope the weather holds out for today. Uh, I would say that I am sort of a fair weather rider. I'm not particularly keen on riding in the rain. The reason for that is, I mean, I've only been riding for the past two years or so, uh, so I'm still developing my skills. And well, yeah, honestly, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm not fast around the corners or anything like that. And if you guys are expecting to see any crazy wheelies, stoppies, burnouts or anything like that um, it won't be coming from me um, I'll obviously take footage of that sort of thing at Daddy's and Day Jewels uh, but as far from myself i um, not planning on doing anything crazy anytime soon um, maybe another year or so's time as I develop my skills I'll look at improving that um, one thing I still would love to do is a track day so Maybe I'll look at doing a video of a track there sometime soon. So yeah, so coming back to the whole rainy weather riding. Um, yeah, I was just pressing out. I don't see the need for me to do it right away. Yeah, um, I need work. Just like, what was that? 10 minutes away from, from home. So, yeah, it's about 7 kilometers or so. So, yeah, so my benefit of taking the bike versus taking the, the cager is not much. Um, with regards to the fuel economy now, uh, I think obviously if I had to be working further away from home, doing a longer distance, yeah definitely the bike would be a great saving to me but I mean, uh, five minutes away from home, I mean, whether I take the, the car or the, or the bike um, it's no real benefit to me uh, the only slight benefit I do have with the with the bike is that I obviously can zip in between traffic and that sort of thing but I've also sort of hit the sweet spot where for some reason there's just this window in our I can say traffic flow here yeah? um, and that window has been proving quite quite good over the last few weeks uh, just if I leave work at this particular time uh, which is around 25 past half past five around there there is a slight window for me to To get home and not sit in a terrible amount of traffic, which is quite awesome. So yeah, I'll be doing my first errand stop shortly. Uh, I'm going to this local shopping centre over here. Uh, got to get a couple of things. So I'll check you guys soon.